Well, Chef, there is a big difference between how much Americans owe in taxes and how much actually gets paid. And the worst offenders are the wealthy. One analysis found the top 1% skips out on $160 billion in taxes. President Biden's plan is really focused on the high end, uh, to, to stop high end um, tax evasion by wealthy individuals, wealthy business owners, and corporations. Now, most of us get paid with a paycheck, and those wages are already reported to the IRS. But the wealthy often get paid in other ways, through partnerships, their own businesses, or rental income, which the IRS doesn't have much information about. Now, the agency says if it can follow the money, it can collect the taxes. Under President Biden's plan, the IRS would know how much money goes in and out of bank accounts each year with as little as $600. Republicans say, whoa, boy. We want to stop this in its tracks. I want to be able to tell cowboys in Wyoming that if they make a payment on their pickup truck or buy a saddle for their horse, they're not going to have an IRS agent along for the ride. Now, banks are raising privacy concerns about collecting and storing all that data and warning that trying to go after the rich could end up hurting the rest of us. We understand the, the purpose of the goal here is to make sure that everybody pays the right amount of taxes. But what you're asking is low and moderate income people to turn over their financial data to try and catch millionaires and billionaires who are not paying their taxes. That's just a wrongheaded approach. Now, Shep, already Democrats are backing off that $600 threshold. Now they're talking about applying these rules to bank accounts with $10,000. But it's still not clear this is even going to make it into the final bill. Elon Moy, thank you.